a tool that I'm using is Twitter. Now most people are probably familiar with what this is, it's a social media platform. Uh, and it's one that's become increasingly popular with sports celebrities, with general wider social um, personalities. Um, but it's something that you can also use in your teaching. And there's some really exciting and innovative ways that this can help. I've used Twitter in my teaching in a number of different ways. Firstly, I tend to flag up interesting stories to students. I get the students to follow me, so that bumps up my followers, which is great. Uh, but it also then allows me to, to point them in the direction of conversations that happen in, in the wider uh, sort of industry field. We've also replaced some contact sessions with Twitter chats. This is where everyone will go online at the same time. Uh, and we'll use a hashtag to follow a particular series of questions and to discuss these with everyone in the class. It also allows students to contact me outside of class sessions. If they have a question related to something they didn't get, they can tweet me uh, and ask me that question. And I've also found that even when students have graduated from the unit, they will still send me some information that is relevant to a particular topic, something that I perhaps have not seen. And so we get these sort of lifelong learners that are engaging with the unit after they have left. I also had a student during a revision session who tweeted me a picture of a video that they were using to study. And during a revision session, it was evidence that they said that revising can be done in a fun way. And I just thought that was a really great example of, of using technology to engage students in a different manner. I was surprised by how some students responded to Twitter. Not all of them knew necessarily how to use it, and not all of them were on it. So a number had to set up accounts to, to start at the, in this unit. There were some who were really, really keen on Twitter, and they would tweet me during sessions, after sessions, at three o'clock in the morning in some instances. And they were obviously avid users of Twitter. They had a lot more followers than I did. There were others that were more reluctant, but the feedback from them was that it was different, that it actually was challenging, but they enjoyed it at the end of it. And there was a number of students who said they enjoyed it because it allowed them to engage with industry experts. So in some of our Twitter discussions, it's not just me that they're conversing with, but there's other experts who will have views on the topic as well. And it allows them to, to have access to this wider community. Academics or even sports people, that they wouldn't have uh, the ability to contact otherwise. They can send a tweet to and maybe get a response from them. Uh, and they'd tell stories of, oh, so-and-so tweeted me last night or responded to one of my tweets. And that was kind of the highlight of their day in that regards. So there's a few things I've learned about using Twitter and teaching. Firstly, students almost expect you to now be available to them 24-7. They can contact you at any time. I've had students tweet me at 1, 2, 3 o'clock in the morning. And this could be about something that's due in class the next day. And you just need to manage their expectations in this case. Uh, because although they're tweeting me at that time of night, I'm certainly not going to be tweeting them back at that time of night. I've also found that the interaction is becoming more social with students. While students do interact on, a, on an academic basis and about questions related to class, they'll also tweet me about things related to sport, for instance, or about things that they're interested in. So, for example, last night I had a student who tweeted me about the Ashes match that was going on at the moment. England had lost some wickets and they were enjoying that. So there was this social interaction. Uh, and Twitter can become more social with students. And again, you just need to be, uh, cons or take consideration about how you're going to manage that interaction with them. I'd say firstly, it again engages students. It, it allows them to contact you about stories that are of interest to them. Uh, and it, it allows them to, to be almost lifelong learners. They're engaged in learning in the classroom, outside the classroom, and once they've graduated. And it's also great for expanding your networks uh, and the areas that you have influence within as well.